Two Wheels in a Road. My name is Dennis, and this is my first motor blog, or biker blog, or whichever way you want to say it. It's a nice, beautiful day, the sun's trying to come out. But, uh, and you really can't see too much, but the trees are starting to change. I know I got leaves all over my yard. But, uh, yeah, the fall is, is, I mean, people like to ride the fall, yeah, because of the colors and the trees, uh, you know. I don't like the cold weather, though. I've got too many broken bones, too many metal pieces and titanium pieces and all that kind of stuff in my body so it, it's hard the cold weather is hard on me uh, but then again i don't like where it's you know like here in kansas where we're at now we're just north of Hayes a little ways but uh Up. We're slowing down here. I don't know what's going on. But... Crack my mirror is fogging up. There you go. Now you should be able to hear the eagle pretty good or purring along. And hopefully it doesn't drown out my voice too much. And hopefully my voice is, I got this mic set just right. So. It'll sound better or sound okay. Huh, riding John Deere riding more for sale. Nothing runs like a deer. <laughs> Speaking of deer, I had two of them run out in front of me. I didn't have my cameras or anything on. I was just heading up to to do the meet, you know, where we all gathered together. And uh And coming down the road and the sun was just starting to come up and uh, <laughs> these two does just started to come out you know and I laid on the horn and I was about to slow down you know had the cruise control set so I just laid on the horn and, and I thought the other one would turn back you know but no nope, they're right out in front so I had to swerve over into the other other lane of the road to miss him or miss her it was a doe and I was like sheesh what dummies you know you think the bike the noise of the motorcycle would it would scare them yeah nah I don't know about elsewhere but not here in Kansas I mean Nah. I have deer that live in my kind of my backyard because I have a big creek that runs through my property. And uh, one time we had a couple of does out there with some babies. And uh, it was just around 4th of July. And uh, when they started shooting off the damn fireworks and stuff, man, those little poor deer were scared to death. And it's, I think it scared them, I mean, it really scared them away because I haven't seen them since 4th of July. So. through that stop sign a lot of people up here I mean there's enough bikers running around in groups and, and stuff you know and most people know you know they got a bunch of you know you see a 
50 bikers come down the road or whatever they you know through a stop sign or whatever they'll they'll they won't move they'll let the bikes go through which you know appreciate it it's really you know it's real nice of them to do that and it uh you know it shows that you know they they see us and because there's a lot of them out there that don't they're too busy damn texting on their phone or talking on their phone or trying to feed their face or yeah, they're doing something other than watching the road you know like this you know running running the uh, camera and uh, stuff like that uh, you know, it's, it's kind of distract, distracting, you know, it takes my eyes off the road or what's going on, especially when I'm in a group like this, you know, because not only do I have to watch those people there, I got to watch the ones back here and, you know, I got to watch leaders up there so I know which way they're, you know, if it's left or right or whatever we're turning or going straight or, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, which is also nice to see. We've got some bunch of women riders today. Matter of fact, I got one up here to my to my right is a is a female. It's riding her own ride, and there's a bunch of them. Now there's some of them that have their husbands or their girlfriends, you know, with them, or their wives or whatever. Or they left their wives at home and brought their girlfriend, you know, whatever, whoever. But looks pretty good, you know. I don't know if you could see that all the way up there or not, but yeah, there's. I could see the top. I could see the the uh, BJ's white helmet. Milo field ready to pick. They're cutting Milo down there where I live. You, you can see the dust and the wind. It's really bad for people that's got hay fever or whatever this time of year when they're doing corn and Milo. All that dust is in the air. And, Anyway, that's what we're doing now. We're just running down the road. And we got a ways to go, and maybe later on down the road we'll beam back and Well, we're back heading to Wilson Lake. <coughs> it's really windy out. The wind's still out of the south, but it's blowing pretty good, probably 40. I mean, it's blowing us sideways sometimes, and it gusts the wind. But still, it's a beautiful day. We lost a few people on the way. They, you know, switched and went home and went someplace else, you know. Um, but we're riding out here to the Wilson Lake. And, and I guess in case nobody's ever seen a lake before, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm following the leader, so, you know. Follow my leader. But uh, we'll see how this goes with all this wind. See if it, uh, you know, if you, get, if you out there in the YouTube land can still hear me and 
understand what I'm saying. Ooh, look at that dust storm. Yeah. Thought it was a dust storm, but it's a tractor out there making all that dust. But we did run in a few a couple of dust storm and some uh, corn stalks blowing across the road and I-70, K-18. I-70 to the left, K-18 to the right. And there's the lake. Well, we're back. Everybody's gone and kind of went their own separate ways. I'm heading back home now. Fighting this headwind. The wind's still out of the south. Probably a good 30, 40 mile an hour. I don't know if you can tell by the leaves in the ditches blowing or not. down here at 70 so but uh, I don't know if I guess for my first uh, first motor blog or biker blog or whatever blog or blog or whatever way you want to say it I don't think it turned out too bad I hope I won't know until I get it out of here and run it through the editing but uh, all in all I think once I get it get it down a little bit come up with some things to talk about I think it'll be all right hopefully it'll stay at 90 or at least in the 80s or low low 90s for a little while. I mean, this is October, so... <laughs> you know, as long as it stay like this, you know, these two wheels will be rolling. Be doing more rides like we did today. Yeah, there's a bunch of trees back there. It's changing. Ooh, you can smell it. Somebody's cutting Milo. But oh no. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I guess it seems okay to me and you know, somebody likes it, well. They, they can smash that thumbs up, you know, maybe they'll hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell, so, you know, you never know. So, I think I'm going to end this like this, end it here, and fight this headwind all the way back home. I'll be ready for a nap been fighting this wind all day you know and you guys ride Phew. you know how that wind takes it out of you so till next time keep yourself safe and uh, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up and we'll see you next time <laughs>